Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by this Bloom Buds and such, uh, which is basically an update on the greenhouse, what's going on, and also in the orchid room, of course. So, uh, first the update, I had my uh, yellow bird, which we have in a frame now. I had it sitting uh, up there, but I think it did uh, get a little bit too much light because this was the first spike to open, but that one, we have two there, but you can see those did fail. So I think, uh, because I also have some purple color tinges on those leaves there, which weren't there. So I think it did get a little bit too, uh, too much light and therefore it uh, had some uh, butt blast going on, I think. Because these blooms do look uh, very nice and still this one was the first to open. So yeah, I think it, uh, I, I give it a little bit too much light, but we have a spike coming here and a spike coming here as well, as you can see. So we will have more blooms luckily, but yeah, the color isn't, isn't as green as it should be, I think. So, and then I have buds on my Cattleyas here in the back. This is the, uh, I have, magic trick as you can see new trick never had that one in bloom but uh, we have some buds coming there and uh, maybe another cane as well i'm not sure at this point there's a new cane as well but at least that one is uh, working on uh, on some buds so that's something to look forward to and my golden peacock it's making a beautiful spike and already start a uh, branch here. So that's going to be nice. And we have something going on with my Cymbidium, the big one. It's kind of funny actually, I think. You see, this is a new growth, this one, and this one as well. But you can see that there. I'm curious to see what that's going to be. I have one here as well and one in the back between the bulbs. I hope you can see it. There it is. I think those might be flower spikes, but I'm not sure. They are a little bit too short to uh, tell. So uh, we ha will have to wait because it's still working on those two new growths. I think those are already starting spikes and I thought a Sibidium needed to be outside. But also it makes sense because I, uh, because of the, the temperature drop I should say. But I have a uh, quite a huge temperature drop here at night in my greenhouse. So I think I don't need to grow them outside. They will uh, bloom here in the greenhouse because of the temperature drop I think. We, have, uh, we are waiting on uh, our porch to uh, be built, so therefore uh, I have it still in, in the greenhouse because I, then I wanted to have it on uh, our new porch, but it's a little bit uh, delayed. So therefore I had, have them still here, but I think it's going to be fine. It will uh, bloom, I, uh, I think. I'm not completely sure. Maybe those are new growths as well, but we shall see, we shall see. And then we have this beauty, three spikes. Those are so beautiful. The Drobium Phenoliopsis. And you guys, it is Miltonia season. It's so beautiful. This is the first one that has just opened its blooms. It's the Festiva, Festiva. Miltonia Festiva. And I think we're going to have another one here, maybe. I'm not sure. Well, actually, I don't know. But anyhow, beautiful, I think up here and I will in a blooming update will turn it around this is the uh, summer breeze it's just starting uh, to open her uh, blooms as well but if I turn it now facing it more this way those other buds will turn around again and will uh, grow kind of funny so therefore I leave it like this for now but we will have a closer better look in the near future and I have two Morellianas here and as you can see the first one opened up its bloom properly this this uh, morning yesterday it was starting to open up and this morning it's uh, fully opened i think but we have quite some more to come a heck of a lot of spikes on those so beautiful 
And here is some Miltonia crush that is almost about to open up as well. So yeah, that's uh, kind of beautiful, of course. <laughs> and here, this is my Dendrobium Linlei. And you can see it's it has a second spike, a secondary spike. This spike is better than the first one. It's bigger. But it's blooming again. It was in bloom, I think, about two months ago. And after it blooming, it started a new growth. Um, I think it's this one. I'm not completely sure. But it's now making another spike, as you can see, on an older ball. And it's also working on a this new growth. So I think it's okay, but I thought they would only bloom once a year. But apparently they can bloom uh, several times a year. I didn't know that. <laughs> Always something to learn, of course. And more dendrobium spikes to come, the dendrobium phenoliopsis. And maybe this one. That would be nice. That would be a first uh, bloomer for me. And of course, here have, we have the big Miltonia that is working on her spikes. It had. Oh, one spike is did cut. I just now see it. You see? So it needs to be moved again. It's so big. <laughs> I barely have room for it. You can see spikes everywhere. I will uh, will move it uh, after this video because that's not uh, what we want, of course. Probably I need to just set it here on the floor. I really don't know where to uh, bury them these days because this one does the same thing. It's almost touching the upper shelf. So yeah, that's a little bit of a uh, problem, <laughs> but we will find a solution, of course. So that's, those were the things I really want to uh, share with you to start with. And my Catacidia types, well actually this is a uh, Lycoster, I'm sorry, this is a Catacidium. Catacidium is doing, uh, those are doing very, very well. As you can see, those are very big. I think they are doing better than last year. As you can see, this one is very, very tall. Maybe we can have a better vision no. <laughs> From here, this is better, but you can see it is uh, very, very big, like I said. <laughs> I have four of them. Really looking forward to, uh, to those blooms again. But first we need to uh, get them a little bit bigger. This is not completely the size that it was last year, but it's still growing, so it probably will. At least that's the goal, of course. And I have a Miltoniopsis here that I just sprayed this morning because of spider mites, of course. Let me see. Here I had some damage on this new growth. And here are those spots. So yeah, that's a continuous saga. And I have some moss growing in the greenhouse. I leave the moss, but I need to remove the grass. I like the moss, actually. And I do get more and more and more. So I leave those, but I should... Uh, take the grass out. But that's why you see more green coming here. <laughs> I found it kind of funny. But the grass is, is a little bit distracting, I think. But it's every time in this season, of course. I always have something growing that, that I not really need. But yeah, it uh, doesn't ask me if it's, <laughs> if it's allowed to grow. It just does. <laughs> so, uh, and of course, we have still some fells in bloom. Actually, quite a few. And the summer bloomers, my Bellina, has two blooms open at this, at this moment, as you can see. So beautiful. And my Violacia up there has a new fresh bloom opened. So it's a beautiful color. So yeah, I think things are, are doing well. Upcoming week, and the next week, I should say, yeah, we are... Um, Expecting quite some uh, warmer weather, so I will be spraying them more often then. I like to spray them just uh, with my pump sprayer. I could use the electric one, but that one's pushing out quite a lot of water. So I like to uh, have a bit more control with that one. And then I like to spray them, and I think they really love it. Especially the aerial roots, so that's how I keep, uh, keep them happy in those very warm temperatures. 30, 30 plus deg degrees I'm talking about. So yeah, this is uh, just an update. I hope you liked it. 
And as usual, if you have any questions, please let me know. But for now, I think, uh, like I said, this was a kind of nice update on the plants. I hope you're all doing well, and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.